What is up? What is up? What all of our WWE juices combined? Let all of our cows meow with. What is up, guys? This is your boy Haikata, and currently, right now, we're about to uh, continue to do the hustle lure to disrespect. And um, I, what's this song? Okay, that's one hard. Okay, entrance subtitles. Let's turn entrance off. Subtitles are on. Menu music down. Keep this on, like, right there. I don't know how it how loud it is for you guys on the stream, but I don't want to have it too loud, so, you know, copy your strike on it. Yep, so, what are we on currently? I think I fucked up on one of them, and I have to redo it. But I don't think that I redid it. Um, 2K Showcase. Unlocked items. Ah, oh, fuck. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold up. I have to check in my um, trophies to see which ones that I didn't do. Keep like, oh, complete blah 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 on hard. Complete this on hard. Or greater. Um, hustle to disrespect money in the bank. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we have to complete basically all of this. Wait, was it July 17th? Okay, whatever. We're just gonna play it on. So basically, this is what happened. Uh, my birthday of Rio locked John Cena out. So it would force Cena to lose the title. So Cena's out of luck. He gets opportunity back uh, by the money in the bank ladder match. You would get it. And then Big Show interrupted, blah, blah, blah. So now it's currently CM Punk is somebody else shooting. John well, Cena looking at history night. here tonight on this 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw. And I can't even begin to tell you how many huge matches we've had over the years, but this may be the biggest. For the 53rd time in the history of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship is being defended here tonight. Reversal. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. Oh, what an elbow drop. As this historic main event rages on, one can't help but reminisce about the first ever Raw back in January 1993. The main event that night saw that's The good, Undertaker good, defeat good. Damian Demento. I remember him. Also, Shawn Michaels successfully defended his Intercontinental Championship against Max Moon. Max Moon, oh, I don't remember shit. him, but both were certainly exciting, Cole. But my favorite part was watching Bobby Heenan continually try to sneak his way into the building. Just planted him with a DDT. Oh no! Watch out! And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating here. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing just conjuring up some good momentum here. What an impressive combination of moves. He's putting those educated feet to good use. 
The first time the WWE Championship ever changed hands on Monday Night Raw was in February 1997, when Psycho Sid beat Bret Hart to claim his second reign with the title. Now more than 15 years later, John Cena hopes to do the same thing. If he's successful, it will make him an 11-time WWE Champion. Oh, CM Punk so confident coming into tonight. He said in an interview with WWE.com that he will survive tonight, that he will make history. Think about what a victory would mean for CM Punk here tonight at Raw 1000. Think about what it would mean for him to take out the man that has become the face of WWE for the last decade. You're right. CM Punk could cement himself in history here tonight. Oh, it doesn't get any let's bigger go, than this. Let's go. Where is this corner? Yeah, it's corner. And that was a huge oh, no. counter. That'll leave a mark. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. He's got him up. You know, it's only appropriate that these two men face off for the WWE Championship on this historic night. King, it was last year in the summer of 2011 when CM Punk dropped his now famous pipe bomb. He then went on to take the WWE title from John Cena and walk out of the WWE only to return and change the direction of his company. He was one step ahead on that one. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. And he's toast. The fuck? And there he goes, under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. You know, it's hard to believe, Cole, but Monday Night Raw has been around to see some of sports entertainment's biggest concepts both come and go. Of course, you have to include Monday Night Raw, which launched in September 1995 and aired its final episode in March of 2001. Hey, and there's also WCW Thunder, Sunday Night Heat, Raw Magazine, oh, the XFL, and the Hardcore Championship. I still wonder how I never won that title. Wasn't everybody a hardcore champion at one point? And let's not forget two of the greatest factions in sports entertainment history, the NWO and D-Generation X. Monday Night Raw has certainly been the picture of consistency. And he touches that one. Nice reversal there. We know what this is. That's it. He's out. King John Cena had the Money in the Bank contract for just eight days before cashing it in here tonight. Well, you're right, Michael. Only three men in history have held the Money in the Bank briefcase for shorter periods of time. Jack Swagger. And we for the AA. And now the official. And it knocked out of the way. Out there, Cena should win the championship. Cena's gonna oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Cena, you gotta look out! The big show! What a runner with Cena! Oh, we got a spare! Cena almost cut in half with that spear and now. Oh, what a KO punch! Cena's been knocked out by the big show! Well, this victory's just been handed to see a punk by the Big Show. Yeah, but King, first he's got to get the official back in the ring. The official was knocked out of the ring. There's no referee to count the one, two, three here. Punk doing what he can to get the official back in the ring. If Punk can get that referee back in the ring, he can end this thing right now. Back into the ring now. CM Punk into the cover. He got it. No, kick out at two. Can you believe that power from John Cena? He sees it. What the? Oh, my God. And the 
these two guys know exactly what to expect from each other. Don't think for a minute that they're not ready tonight. And John Cena is your winner. I swear to God, sometimes this game fucks with you. John Cena looking to make history here tonight on this 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw. And I can't even begin to tell you how many huge matches we've had over the years, but this may be the biggest. For the 53rd time in the history of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship is being defended here tonight. Whoa. Look at CM Punk pouring on the aggression. And the swinging neck breaker takes him down. As a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank, CM Punk is no stranger to this type of matchup. You're right. In fact, CM Punk is the only superstar to do this press. I like how last year just happened. Look at the athleticism on display there. The kick connects. He unloads a well-structured series of moves. In no man's land here, ladies and gentlemen. What a chance. What a maneuver. Oh, look at the emotion. Of course, Money in the Bank was first introduced to the WWE by Chris Jericho back in 2005. And Edge went on to become the first ever Mr. Money in the Bank when he won the ladder match at WrestleMania 21. Yeah, and he then went on to capture the WWE Championship from John Cena at New Year's Revolution. Since that time, Rob Van Dam, CM Punk, Jack Swagger, Kane, The Miz, Daniel Bryan, Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Oh, CM Punk so confident coming into that night. He said in an interview with WWE.com that he will survive tonight, that he will make history. Think about what a victory would mean for CM Punk here tonight at Raw 1000. Think about what it would mean oh, for him to take out the me. man that has become the face of WWE for the last decade. You're right. CM Punk could cement himself in history here tonight. Oh, it doesn't get any better. What a move. Stay down. Stay down. The first time the WWE Championship ever changed hands on Monday Night Raw. And, and we're for the AA. And now the official. What do you think that Punk fucking bullshit? Get that referee back in the ring. He can end this thing right now. He is slowly getting dissected. He's got him covered. CM Punk is so well versed in not only striking with his hands, but his feet too. John Cena with a nice reversal. Whoa, this could be trouble. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. And there's a devastating kick from CM Punk. shown by CM Punk here. King John Cena had the Money in the Bank contract for just eight days before cashing it in here tonight. Well, you're right, Michael. Only three men in history have held the Money in the Bank briefcase for shorter periods of time. Jack Swagger had it for two days in 2010. Kane cashed his in on the same night he won it in 2010. And Edge held it for one day in 2007 before cashing it in. And it's important to note, Cole, Edge actually won his 2007 Money in the Bank contract by beating that year's original Money in the Bank winner in a one-on-one -on -one match. Think about all the great WWE champions who've been part of the broadcast this evening. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Rock, Mick Foley, The Miz, Chris Jericho. Hey, and don't forget about the other legends like Rowdy Roddy Piper and Vader. Man, it's been an unbelievable night, Cole. And we cap it off with the main event for the most prestigious title in the history of sports entertainment. The over 50-year-old WWE title. Great counter. As this historic main event rages on, one can't help but reminisce about the first ever Raw back in January 1993.
the main event that night, saw The Undertaker defeat Damian Demento. I remember him. Also, Shawn Michaels successfully defended his Intercontinental Championship against Max Moon. Max Moon, I don't remember him, but both were certainly exciting, Cole. But my favorite part was watching Bobby Heenan continually try to...